Now the West Coast guys and the Illinois guy, they didn't always they didn't always mesh, did they? I mean, as far as calling styles, they were different. Um, the West Coast guys, when we went back east, we didn't do good. Just because, and of your whether style. it was because we weren't as good or it was just a different style of calling, um, I wasn't as good as the as the Illinois guys. You know, um, when I was blowing like Sean Stahl and Kevin Popo and Josh Newweiler and um, gosh, who else was running short reads? Good. Hunter was still pretty young. He didn't have the lung power to blow, so we were beating Hunter. But as soon as Hunter got to be a man, nobody could touch him. He's he. I still go back and listen to that. Well, I think it's 2007 routine that he did. Oh, seven. Yeah, Fuck. best routine ever, ever, ever in the whole world. I mean, it, the, the sounds that he would make in that thing, just mm-hmm. fucking, like, you're like, how are you going to beat this kid? Yeah, that John Logan is a really cool auditorium, too, The one in Maryland. Mm-hmm. We we all went back to the Worlds and blew it in a few times. It's Bill Saunders and Dave and I did, but um, we didn't we didn't place real well. I think Dave actually made a cut one one year, but we didn't do too well back there in the worlds it's a it's a it's a different they're on a whole nother level honestly if bill stayed with it he would have won it saunders yeah yeah if he would have stayed with it he'd have won it just a matter of time when did he when did he get out of it um i don't know probably around 2010 or so Mm -hmm. or 11 after he won washington state three times he didn't he quit competing in that i don't know it was just kind of an unwritten unwritten thing that after you win a state contest you kind of quit blowing in them i started judging them and bill started judging and stuff so but if he would have stayed if, after it and he would have traveled he he'd have won rogers he'd have won the worlds eventually because that's the thing like you got it you got to keep that you got to keep that muscle sharp you got to keep that muscle memory going you can't yeah, it's fall a, out it's a it. musical recital and you're blowing a musical instrument and if you don't do it every single day the kid that's doing it is going to beat you um, there's some talent involved with it. I mean, a lot of stuff going on in your throat and your mouth that you can do with a call to make, you know, different noises or whatever, but it's definitely changed. A routine that won in 2000 wouldn't even crack a top 20 now. Just because it doesn't have the razzle-dazzle and the power and the speed? Yep, yep, spit notes and train notes and triple clocks and just the speed and pretty much. I mean, there's there's still good callers and those guys that, you know, we're winning in 2000 and 2001. They would be able to win on stage today if they would have stayed with it. Kelly Powers would win today if he wanted to. Yeah. Um, were you a note for note guy or were you segment for segment? I was show up with your underwear on your head and just blow what I could remember. <laughs> I, I wasn't a note for note guy. I couldn't keep it together. They're the guys that were able to do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star or Old McDonald Had a Farm. Those guys were consistent. I was really sporadic. At winning, so you were either because of that. You were either top three, or you weren't going to make the first cut. Yep, exactly. Like I practiced and practiced and practiced, but I didn't practice blowing routines. You would just blow. You just yep. get on. I, I would blow like my favorite part or the part that I was good at. But and then when it came time to like two or three days out from a contest i'd start blowing routines and i was like oh my god i forgot that whole part of the routine because i didn't practice blowing routines Mm -hmm. i just i just blew my call like i did when i was hunting and then i added in the razzle dazzle to try to impress judges so how long have you been judging now Mm, i've judged a bunch of oregon state contests and i judged some stuff like the best of the west in utah and like that but um I haven't been traveling much really to judge many. So, so how, how have you noticed the calling circuit evolving just since you've been a judge? Like, um, are there more good callers now? West? No, 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 not even like when I was blown, I'm not trying to say I was bad, good or whatever, but when I went to contest in blue, there was freaking 35 guys in the bullpen. Now you're lucky if there's nine, like the last Oregon state contest I judged, there was four people in it. Oh wow! So I, that was the last Oregon contest I judged. There was four guys. But I was just wondering if, since YouTube is like, I was just wondering if, like, if there's more good goose callers just because it's Absolutely. easier to consume information. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think it's easier. You still have to dedicate your time, and you still have to have ability, and you know, you still have to go and do it. You know, they. It, 
part of the struggle with when I was blowing calls, learning how is you had to fly yeah. somewhere to go to a contest. And when they first started happening out West, if you didn't live within, you know, right around the area of Portland or Eastern Washington, you still had to fly or drive to go to a goose contest. So, yeah, I mean, you guys are all and, basically on an Island out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a unique area. And I mean, that's, that's what kept me out of it for so long, you know, there's nothing in Texas. They had no nope. one show. There still is still nothing. I mean, there might be a regional duck here and there or whatever, but there's there isn't a, a goose calling circuit that runs in Texas. I think the closest one is Rogers, and I entered it a couple yeah. times. Tulsa had one about seven or eight years ago. I went to it. Uh, yeah. Luckily, and here's here's the here's the thing too. I don't I haven't listened to you call very much, but anybody that kills geese is a good caller. But the way we hunt geese in Texas, that calling doesn't translate to the musical recital that they put on in contests. It's just balls to the walls here. Yeah, it's just, you know, um, pack of Indians, somebody said <laughs> once. But, you know, your call's tuned way high, yeah. and it's just you run it till the reed breaks and grab a different call and keep making noise. Yeah, it, it, that, that's exactly right. Um, luckily, Derek McDaniels stuck his call in the, I think, second round, and then yeah. that's how I won. Yeah. Yeah. Derek went to Rogers with me one year. He didn't go with me, but he was there. And I think Derek and I were like within two points of each other and neither one of us cracked a top 20. That's a, I'm telling you what, that's a murderer's row there. Cause every, the purse yeah. is so big. Anybody can enter yeah. and I, it's just everybody yeah. there. Yeah. And there's so, there's good callers. I mean, 20 of them that could win it on any given day. But if you watch the cream always rises to the top. Yeah doesn't matter. It's it's going to be interesting if calling contests make it another 10, 15 years, if they're even around. Yeah, now. Asher's putting on that huge contest in, uh, in Missouri where, for dive bomb. Yes. And they're like, they're going to have a real contest. That's been the first one that I'm aware of since pre-COVID. Since COVID, yeah. But it, yeah. It, it's just interesting because, like you said, a, a routine from 2000, you know, it wouldn't even place now. It's just interesting to see – where we're going to be in another 10 or 15 years of calling contests. I know. Do we yeah. circle if back I knew that, and go I'd back to the, on it right now. <laughs> yeah. Do we circle back and kind of go to a, a more simplistic routine or does it just continue on this trend of razzle dazzle is going to win the thing? I want to say that with the technology that we have in a goose call right now, we're, we're probably plateaued out right there somewhere. I mean, the guys that are winning and have one in the last eight years or whatever. I don't know if there's any more new noises out there for them to create on a goose call. I can't think of any. I can't. I mean, I can remember having to look up and trying to figure out how to, how to do the train note or cause, yeah. you know, that's not anything I'm going to do here. So I had to yeah. look it up and see how the hell to make that sound go. Yeah. But I'm like, you, what the hell else can they put onto these things? Yeah. And it, the, the stuff that we did in Texas, you, that doesn't even, no. Go in a routine. No. Right? It doesn't even, it's just, <laughs> that's all you do. It's me. not, there's no, there's no flow to that. It's just get them killed, get to the margarita barn. 